Hello, teacher Jackie here. I just wanted to come in here and share two tools. I don't think VIP kid teachers or VIP teacher teachers are teaching with, that's a mouthful. <laughs> Hello again, I'm teacher Jackie. I have been teaching with VIP kids since 2018. Sure, I took like 14 months off, not by choice, <laughs> only because the gov government regulations had changed a little bit. Excuse me, get a little water here. <clears throat> and so long story short, I, um, I really enjoy it because of the flexibility and I don't have to do any prep really just a little bit, but I've done it for so long. I can just jump right in. I used to do substitute. I love that. But again, two tips. Here we go. Let me go ahead and share my screen. I just finished a class. I'm going to share just a very small portion of the VIP kid window because I think it's proprietary. I'm not supposed to show it, but I'm really, really disappointed that every time I use this, my students are like, what? They like, they've never seen it before. A student who's had hundreds of classes, teachers, teachers, teachers use these fun tools. So real quick, I'm not going to click it, but this button right here in the lower left, again, if you're doing mainland China classes, now these may, these are not available for others. I guess I should clarify that mainland China classes. This button in the lower switches between your teacher window and the slides. So I have many students who do math for math. I just had a student say mother for mother. So I say just a minute and I click it and I get in the big, um, the big slide box, this box right here. And I go, ah, big teacher. And they're like, whoa, because it's, I'm big. <laughs> and then, um, Speaking of that, let me do this. There we go. I'm big. So I then I can say mother, you know, and um or math. Math. And they see it. The other one that's huge is V. I had another wary today. Wary, wary hard, you know, very hard. So b b b make sure we show that and then I go just a minute and I click on it and I get small again <gasps> small teacher big teacher small teacher so again use that double box thing the other one is this box the input box now let me show you it click on it it pops up and of course the kids go crazy so you may want to turn off their mouse before you do it I had a student today clicking immediately and I couldn't do anything so I said wait 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 and they wouldn't wait so I turned off their mouse. <laughs> so anyway, you go in here and then you click on the, the, it's really a pain, but it's worth it when you need to type something versus writing it with your pen. Okay. So you click in here and you start typing, typing, and they won't see it until you hit submit. Okay. And then you can click on this and change its color, click back on it to make it go away. There's red. And then words will then um, be here oops dog and you can highlight it and change the color green and change this one to black that kind of stuff oops there we go and if you need to <clears throat> talk about you know something if you just want to talk about the letter a the short letter a if you need to stop and talk about it for a second you can do that okay you can make the box bigger but i have found that some students don't seem to see what's below when I do make it bigger. Even if I move the box up here in the top and I click on it and drag it down, drag it down, click, drag it down, click, drag it over. They seem to, they can see what's over here on the side, but not what's like, I think right about here is, is it, even though it's in the slide. Okay. It's just another thing there. I have, um, a Google Doc where things are pre-typed. Like at one point when they say, what's the book about? We go through who, what, when, where, why, how to help them understand like about. What's the book about? Not what's the title? Don't repeat the title. <laughs> and we say like, who is this person or who lives at that place? What goes on and when does this happen or where does it happen? And so we kind of go through that, but I have this pre-typed and I have it actually big. So it's in a Google doc and I think it's around 20 point type. So it's a little bit bigger here. Otherwise, if you copy and paste, like, let's just uh, 
copy this. Let's go to class. Yeah, so let me just click on this. I'll show you. You can copy over here and paste. Look how tiny it is. So they can see it. They can read it, especially when there's answers over here. So it has like a question that says, you know, explain um, what does the giraffe do or something. And over here's the answer. It says the giraffe walks on its big legs or has a long neck. And you want to copy and paste it. Sometimes they can see it. Sometimes I'll copy it here, paste it to my Google Doc, boop, 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 blow it up, and copy and paste it. So again, the students are like, what? You know, they're like, I've never seen this box before. I'm like, teachers never use this box. Teachers never go big teacher to small teacher. Um, I know it's extra sometimes, but you know, sometimes you're ahead of schedule or the student really needs to pause and learn. Take the time. It's worth it. It's fun. Um, otherwise, I guess I'll continue to be the only teacher doing it. <laughs> I also use the magnifier all the time. Like, and I let them do it. I say, you can be the teacher. Click and drag it. And of course, they sit there and play with the plus and the minus. Just let them. It's okay. Oh, you see an apple. Oh, you see an orange. Oh, you see a grape. Or turn off their mouse control and you control it. Okay. Have fun. Enjoy. Just thought I would pop this in. That was a little bonus one. And I uh, hope you enjoy. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thanks.